So depending on our breeds of sheep, our fleece becomes more and more defined. We're working with Merinos here today and the fleece is the number one profit driver for the sale of these animals. So we have to get this right with our assessment. When we're assessing fleece, we come through the spine of the, of the animal. We open it up and the first trait that we're going to measure is our length. Now you, we use a ruler for this. We place it in and we close it up and we can determine the length of the fleece for our assessment. This sheep here is sitting at 45 mils, so that's what we'd write down next to the assessment. So once we've assessed length on our sheep, there is a space in the comments that we can add in subjective measurements such as crimp, style, handle. Um, it's also a good idea to open the fleece up and place, if you're doing merinos, to place a few photos of the fleece in to add by confidence. The other things that we need to add when we're do talking about our fleece is talking through shearing date, any treatment date, whether they're in withholds. Um, if you've got any previous wool tests on those animals, then it might be a good idea to add that in as well. Other important things when we're talking about the fleece is the crutching details. So if we've got a full crutch, a bunghole crutch or no crutch. Uh, the other thing that we need to add is if the sheep have been mules or not mules. And looking through the coat, we've also got to talk about the amount of seed and burr through the coat just to provide that adequate description. And once again, we need to provide this on a minimum of 20% of the sheep assessed.